Today live on GameFound is Ice Unlimited by This Way Games. This is a second edition reprint. It's supposed to be more streamlined than the original. This was a game I kind of missed out on on the original print, but one of my friends over on the Discord brought it to my attention, a game that he thought would be a really good fit for me and the channel. There's also something I'm hoping in the next couple weeks him and I can sit down and get a tabletop simulator play out. We can discuss some of the nuances, some of the differences, and really just talk about maybe what some of these expansions are going to bring to the game. I'm really excited to get this preview out. I'm really excited to be back. I'm Kevin with Eat Dream Game. Let's check this out together. Alright, so before we get into this preview, I did want to mention it has been a minute. A long month, lots of changes, but there's some very exciting things coming to the channel. We've discussed a few of those, but I do want to say if you ever feel like you're missing out on content, go over to the Discord, hit the subscribe button on YouTube, check out the Instagram, and you can always find something there, always tag up, always meet up with me. But Ice Unlimited, this is, uh, you know, this is a very... I would say very visual appealing game to me. I, I did do a little bit of research as far as, you know, kind of how the first edition played. So I think this is going to be a very exciting game to bring to the channel. But as you can see, this has already fulfilled 80,000 euros out of 25,000. We're 324% funded with 19 days left. So like I said, I do plan on getting some tabletop simulator content out hopefully in the next couple weeks do a community play have some really good discussions about this game but it looks really really unique really visually appealing and let's uh let's check this out together so as you can see this is a brand new edition plays uh one to five players 90 minutes ages 14 plus so uh, we're talking some exploration strategy solo i don't know if solo was necessarily a big part of the original game but looking at some of the updates that they announced before this campaign even dropped it does seem like they at least have a reworked if not revamped solo play which is you know always a huge check mark on my list when it comes to uh bringing new games into the collection uh we do got a little bit of we got some worker placement feel as well as some asymmetric abilities so all that stuff definitely speaks very very high to me but uh we could see this was designed by sanson fp and hugo f illustrated by lenard d graphic design by alexis v and Den dennis h um but yeah it's uh you know groundbreaking original board games like i said i think as far as what i've seen about this game it does does it definitely looks like something you need to add to my collection so definitely let me know how you feel about that if there's other games that you have already that this seems to uh you know fill that vibe for you so uh i do like the meeples i think i don't know if those are definitely new new but i definitely know they've kind of been promoting those it's definitely something i'm interested in adding as far as a component um but there is, uh, you know, a lot of really good uh, accolades from this game from the Dice Tower. There's a decent little preview over there if you want to check that out from the first edition, I believe. But this is going to be a faster gameplay, new actions, incredible new bottom to the board. So I do know that there was, I think there was more depth in the original, uh, the first series. And I don't necessarily know if they decided after, you know, playing it multiple times, maybe they didn't need quite as much depth as far as the exploration goes i do feel like they've added strategic depth in other areas for the second edition so um tim chun also has a very good preview as far as the new content goes i definitely checked that out before this campaign launched yeah so we got some really cool visuals as far as kind of that ice exploration i think that's really cool me myself i am uh, i like tiles i like tile exploration games and I really think this kind of is just going to be like that next level tile ex exploration game for me. So, you can see we have the first setup. We have a base box. I believe this is just your general, yep, your standard box base game. So, in this one, you're going to get five guild boards, 15 player markers. Those are going to be like your leaders or whatnot that are going to be moving on the board as well as a tracker that is going to kind of, uh, well, I think one of the trackers is going to be for points. One of them is going to be for counting your actions. But in this edition, you got a board in two parts. 
And then you got 48 snow tiles, you got service artifact tiles, and deep artifact tiles. So I believe like your snow tiles, your up top is going to be a lot of like kind of your environmental, um, where you're going to get like, as you get lower and get more into your like your scoring and uh, artifacts that are going to give you like bonus actions almost when you get them, when you collect them. Um, you got archaeologists, which are kind of the workers in this game. You're going to be able to move them around with your leader. I think that's what they're called. Leader, leader. Expedition leaders, yes. So uh, then you're also going to get some renowned point tokens, study tokens, just a lot of, you know, your small small first player tokens, day counters, whatnot, exploration aids, solo aids, cards. Um, I believe there's some more asymmetry with kind of these uh, decree cards as far as how the game's going to play differently each time as far, you know. They got some request cards as well. I do believe a lot of this stuff is kind of, uh, like I said, revamped and new. And then you got an insert, work in progress. Inserts are always I don't know, pretty important to me as far as getting games to the table. And we're also going to have expansion one. Like I said, I don't know a whole lot about the expansions, but you're going to get more guild boards. You're going to get more uh, player markers that match those guild boards. And then, uh, yeah, more cards little uh, cloth bag I assume you're gonna be doing some drawing out of it and then you got another expansion so I'm gonna I'm not gonna go too heavy into these expansions like I said I'm definitely interested in picking up you know the base game probably some upgraded components on me I feel like this is something we'll talk about a little bit more when we do that tabletop simulator play as far as what maybe this new stuff will add to the game um, since I have not played this game, I don't want to get too far into that. But we got uh, two more guild bards uh, with this relics box. And you got some guild camp tokens, uh, diamond relic tiles. So that seems like that's going to add a little bit of variety. Oh, well, they look like they're almost like split and break off. So very interesting. And then we got the ice unlimited box, which is the collector's edition with all the components listed above for the ice second edition base game. Both expansions, relic expansion. Deluxe components that will replace the standard edition. So that's kind of something I'm more interested in as far as, you know, this uh, collector's edition of the game. I don't necessarily know if I need all the content off the bat, but we'll see. I do like these screen printed, these uh, silk screen meeples. They look very cool. And uh, dual layer guild boards with UV spotting. So very cool. And then this is the uh, deluxe game board so you can tell with the standard just a two piece that you know you kind of snapped in together like a like a hook and groove puzzle this one you're gonna have magnetic boards in four parts i feel like that is a part of what i've heard componently makes this game really pop and then you got some metal renown point tokens you got your camps that are also silk screen you got a metal first player token and then you will have an ice pick looks like a guitar pick but um Small cloth, uh, cloth bag for the archaeologists, and then a complex insert with a box collector. I'm not really sure, but it, the, the art art looks really, really, really stand out on this one compared to the base box. So very cool. Uh, now we got some gameplay rule uh, rule book um, videos. Like I said, I think this is the one I checked out, and then I believe this is going to be a link. Um, no, this is kind of just telling you how the game is going to go. You have a prep phase, you have an exploration, you got an end of day phase. Um, relatively simple as far as um, the turn structure goes with this game. And then, uh, you know, it's going to give you different things you could do. Move move your leader, build camps, you could call uh, archaeologists um, to your camp, and then you can move your leader, which kind of is going to um, collect archaeologists uh, Reason that's important is because when you excavate, it will cost less action points to uh, to excavate. So, very unique as far as picking up, you know, picking up workers, moving, tile flipping, and just like I said, digging down, digging down into this. But you're gonna have a uh, snow tiles are obviously gonna be randomized. You know, artifacts are gonna be randomized. Um, dif different artifacts as you collect them are gonna give you uh, really cool bonus actions that are kind of on your board. And then uh, guild powers. So, a little bit of asymmetry there. But here is, um, you know, this is going to be uh, your Ice Artifices Guide as far as that expansion goes. Like I said, it introduces some game-changing variants um, and then gives you two more guilds. So, definitely, if you've played this game, 
obviously you like it, you're returning for this campaign, you're obviously looking at this expansion content, weighing whether or not it's worth it. I hope to, like I said, have an answer on that as I kind of dig into this on Tabletop Simulator. And then you got Ice Relics, which, you know, is going to give you a brand new tile type. It's going to give you, I believe, two more, two more factions is going to be in there. But this is kind of going into the relics and how you can swap pieces and... You said looks looks like it changes quite a bit as far as you know a little bit of that depth and strategy of the game but if you are interested in checking out the base game rules there is um a link for that and then there's also uh like i said a brand new uh expert solo designed um ai that truly replicates an experience you know that most solo gamers are kind of looking for. I feel like, you know, this could have probably been like a point, and maybe that's kind of how it was with the first edition, like a point-based game, whatnot. This looks like you're actually going to have some interaction as far as another another player being on the board when you want to play solo. So uh, I, did, uh, I did check this out a little bit as far as the solo play. Um, but I, like I said, I do feel like this new edition is going to be... Pretty, pretty cool as far as uh, differences go. A um, little bit of information as far as your background. I knew they have an upgrade kit for the uh, for the original if you're looking to do that. A conversion kit. So um, trying to give you that at the lowest possible price. And then you can get uh, those extra expansions uh, separately. You don't need to, uh, you don't need to necessarily uh, add them, get a, get a pledge to get those. And there's kind of all the components that you're going to be adding as far as um, all your 112 tiles for the second edition game. Because like I said, this is going to be a little bit different. Um, the 75 cards, I don't believe those were in the first edition. From what I saw, um, your new solo components, your new rule book, and then uh, a whole new uh, city, city board. But they also got a free print and play. You can be downloaded for any original backers. And then... Uh, I know they have a tabletop simulator, so definitely, uh, like I said, me jumping into that. But here we got to our pledges finally. Um, so we have uh, stretch pay. Stretch pay is available. Always important to note. I think that's a fantastic thing that GameFound and a lot of the other uh, crowdfunding companies have done. Is you know, as far as sometimes you just campaign drops, especially you know, heavy board gamer. You got a lot of other projects going on. Um, sometimes you see these projects come in, sometimes you don't, but you know, everybody's life changes on a day to day. So I like having that flexibility as far as, you know, still getting those games you want, maybe, you know, not breaking the bank to do those. Um, Ice and Limited Box, that is going to have your expansions, your upgraded meeples, and your uh, collector's version. And that is going to be 129 euros. Then we have, is this not just going to, I'll go convert this stuff here in a minute if it gives me the option. Um, all new uh, returning backers. There's your two expansions um, and your and your conversion kit. So that's all in that uh, that little bundle right there. Then you got the ice standard box. So if you know you're just trying to you know see if this is a game for you, a little bit interested, but you're not enough to go you know full deluxeify. You can do that. It looks like you got a 14.75 euro a month payment as far as the stretch pay goes. Pretty low. And then you got your ice full gameplay standard box so it's basically just gonna be your standard with those expansions and then they do have it everything all in i um, not sure if i'm at a bundle we'll see what happens i definitely probably looking at getting that at least get that collector's edition um, but they do have a couple other things i do want to talk about so they got a resource container um, those collector those meeples you got some metal coins there's your conversion kit if you just you already have the game, not looking for expansions, just want to bring it up to what they're doing in the second edition. And then they have this Laser Rocks insert uh, for Ice Collector. So obviously, inserts and getting games to the table, always a big deal to me. So that's something we'll have to see if uh, if it's worth it. That's also a conversation to have as far as uh, the tabletop simulator play goes, um, whether this is a game that absolutely needs a better storage solution. I don't know that. I don't get the first edition. I don't know what to expect. Uh, we got more uh, reviews and playthroughs from other content creators as far as how uh, you know the uh, the second edition goes. And then uh, we got shipping timetables. So it looks like uh, we're looking at for the U.S. 
What am I missing here? There we go. Shipping. Um, so let's say we're looking at 18 for returning backers, 20 for your standard, 23 for your full gameplay standard box, 22 for the ice unlimited box, and 25 euros all in. Not horrible. And then shipping for add-ons. So kind of just depends what you're doing, but ice map, 3.5, resource container, just the conversion kits four, so the inserts looks like it's five euros. Um, so here is our timelines for this campaign. Um, it's gonna end May 27th. Pledge manager gonna open June. September closure. They're gonna submit it October. We're gonna get mass production. Um, finished up by January, and you know, potentially getting this back by next July. Not horrible. Not horrible. A little bit more about uh, the uh, creators and uh, partners of this game. And, yeah. Uh, looks like they do have a Discord community as far as other social media. So uh, if you are interested in finding out more about the game, especially from people that have already played it, you're obviously going to find a bunch of people over on their Discord channel for that. Um, a little bit more about those refunds and cancellations. I'm going to see, I doubt it, but I'm going to see if they do have a, ha, <laughs> they do, they do the whole thing in Euros, there we go, we're going to go check this out real quick, I don't know why it does that, probably because I'm not logged in, okay, so we'll look at these updated numbers real quick before I give you my final thoughts on this, uh, 88,980, what they're up to, they, uh, 26,000, about 27,000 was the goal, let's go look at what, uh, these pledges look like now for uh, at least for all the US uh, backers Ooh, I want to look at that again like I said really just even on the standard box really really clean uh, I don't know if that's the standard box no I think that's the that is the collector's edition here we go I didn't think the pledges were that far down there we go. Here we go. So, um, Ice Unlimited box, one hundred forty-two twenty-one, dollars uh, 21 $35 stretch pay. Returning backers, you can get that uh, conversion kit with those two expansions for about $50, bucks, 12 40 a month if you're going that way. And then if you're just going standard, about $65 and uh, 16 26 a month. So, I don't know if they just have the, uh, let me go see, is this all the add ons? I just wanted to get the collector's edition box. I don't actually see an option for that. See the standard box. What if this is broken down? So, uh, oh, it's because the unlimited box has both expansions in there. So that is kind of a part of it. Definitely something to talk out. So as far as my final thoughts on this, like I said, I do think this is a very unique tile exploration game that would be something new and refreshing to add to my collection but I'm looking at this stuff i like i said i'm one i'm on the fence like i said i definitely need to get a a play over there on tabletop simulator me and silver hopefully gonna do that sometime next week so definitely before the campaign ends and we'll talk a lot more about this he is very familiar with this game he was the one that recommended it to me so if you know him over there on the discord you got questions for him i'm sure he can answer some of that for us but i will say I definitely, like I said, I don't really want to go with the standard, but I do think I am probably at least leaning towards this top unlimited box pledge. We'll have to see how that shakes out for me, especially after getting that playthrough, um, you know, in next week. And uh, we'll talk more about it later. But um, like I said, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for checking out this preview with me. I hope to see you guys around. And uh, until next time, much love.